Welcome. Today we'll be doing the wiring board for Dexter. The micro SD card will be the very first thing you do since it's very difficult to put in when attached to the motherboard. Next, attach the motorboard and FPGA board to the fasteners. The back of the bracket should be facing towards the differential belts, leaving the front of the board open. Then, put the spacers between the two boards, making sure the holes are aligned. Once the spacers are inside, slip the screw into the hole. Screw all four screws into the bracket to secure the board into place. This diagram shows where each subassembly will be connected into the board since they correlate to the wire connectors. This shows the color pattern for the order the wires will be connected in. The base wires go straight down and the pivot wires can be seen to be shorter and go into the pivot itself. When using the wire cutters, use the 26 dividend to ensure the wires get stripped properly. Use the wire cutters to resize the wire itself down to a smaller size. After cutting the wire, twist it so that there's no strands of wire. Do this for all the wires for each connection. Put the wires into the color designated slots on the motorboard. Make sure to follow the color abbreviations designated on the board in front of the wire connectors. Next is the end arm hub. Follow the same previous steps for L2 and L3. In the L3 position comes the pivot. L3 will follow the same previous steps. If all steps are followed correctly, your wire setup should look something like this. These are the motors that will be hooked up into the positions R1 and R2. The easiest way to remember how these wires should be installed is the R1 motor crosses over the end arm hub. The R2 motor will come straight up since it resides on the right side of the board. The same steps from the previous installations apply here. With all wires in place, your wire should look something like this. Next, we'll be making the power supply. What you'll need are 22 gauge negative and positive wires and the power connector. Start by loosening the screws inside the power connector. Then, cut your 22 gauge wires to desired length. Twist and insert the wires into the connector. Finally, put the free end into the main power connector on the motorboard. After all connections have been made, you'll need to test the ohms. If your ohms read 1.8 to 1.9 when you're testing the first two connections, that's normal. When testing the second and third connections, it should be a high reading. The third and last connections will be a low value again. Afterwards, if Dexter boots up with no problems, you successfully wired the board.